enjoys in some way, shape, or form. But however, before music can travel through the air as sound, it is written as what is called sheet music. Now you may have seen sheet music before and panicked at the mere sight of it. So many notes and lines and whatever that is and something in another language. Well, there's no need to worry because today I will be showing how to read sheet music by showing you how to read clefs and notes, how to read rhythms, and how to read dynamics along with other ornaments. While some ornaments might be different depending on your instrument, I will be showing you almost all of these ornaments when it comes to my primary instrument, the cello. Without further ado, let's get started. Well, first, why is this important? Well, it's important to learn sheet music because this is the first step you need to take in order to learn an instrument. According to musicnotes.com, music is a language just like you read aloud from a book. Think of the notes as letters, measures as words, and phrases as sentences. First, let's start with notes. All of the notes go in ranging order from A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and start over at A. When it comes to notes, you have two clefs which determine what your notes are, treble, or the high clef, and bass, or the low clef. All clefs come with the staff, which is five lines and four spaces, each representing a note. First, we'll start with treble clef. Treble clef notes on lines going from bottom to top are E, G, B, D, F, or you can acronym it as every good boy does fine. And the spaces are F, A, C, E, or simply face. For the treble clef is primarily used for higher sounding instruments, including the violin, flute, clarinet, etc. My instrument, however, reads bass clef primarily. Bass clef is different as the lines read G, B, D, F, A, good boys do fine always, and spaces read A, C, E, G, or all cows eat grass. But you question, how does this become a simple dot to music? Well, if I were to look at my, my music and see a note on the space, on the third space, I would know that the note is E, and I were to play it as E. How is this important? Well, because this is what helps you change each note. There are also things called accidentals, which make the notes sharp, flat, or natural, either bringing it up, down, or the same half step. Accidentals usually affect only one measure when it's shown, and key signatures, which are indicated near the beginning towards the clef, are ch change the note for the whole song. A good example was shown by Sheet Music Plus, saying that if one sharp is in the key, then that note will always be F sharp. This is the key that our minuet is played in. So if we were to play it with just knowing the notes, this is what it would sound like. And so on and so forth. You may notice it sounds a little different. That's because we need to add rhythm, which is Rhythm is the component that pretty much makes a song a song. It makes the note either long or short or no rhythm at all if there's a rest. The most common time when it comes to music is 4-4 four, four time or four beats per measure. When you would count it, you would count one, two, three, four, and then continue, go back to one. The four underneath indicates that a quarter note is equal to one beat. So you would play one quarter note per beat. A quarter note is indicated by this head, including a tail, which would simply be one beat. If you add a flag to the end of the tail, you have what is known as an eighth note. If you played an eighth note, it would be one, two, three, four, or two of them per number. If we go back to quarter note and we remove the tail, or we remove the inside of the head, sorry, um, we have two beats, or it would be one, two, three, four. Or if we if we move the tail, then we have a whole note. One, two, three, four. All of these notes come together to comprise our music. Most commonly, when you count whole notes, half notes, and quarter notes in four four time, you would simply count it as one, two, three, four. But once you start adding flags and you get into shorter notes, you add things such as one and two and three and four and to represent those new beats. How does this apply to our minuet? Our minuet is in 3-4 time, which is pretty much meaning that quarter note is again the primary 
um, the primary beat, but instead of counting one, two, three, four, we just have one, two, three. So it would sound more like this. So on and so forth. You may notice that there was a few elements missing, but however, this is the primary things that you need to learn in order to know how to read sheet music. Next, we will be going into dynamics and other ornaments. Uh, WikiHow it gives a good example within the real life of you probably notice how not all the music is the same volume all the time. Some parts get really loud and some parts get really soft. That is pretty much what is called dynamics. The primary two dynamics is piano, which represents soft, and forte, which represents loud. You can either jump between both types of dynamics, or you can add what is called a crescendo or decrescendo, which pretty much makes it a smooth transition between the two. Along with dynamics, we have ornaments. First ornament I will be showing you is what are called slurs, which is where you, for my instrument, you combine more, two or more notes in one bow stroke. And so on. These pretty much make it so that the notes seem more smoothly connected and have more flow. Along with slurs, for our minuet, we also had trills, which was where you rapidly change between a note back and forth in order to create a kind of lula sound. <laughs> Along with trills, there are also grace notes, which are pretty much small notes that come in front of a main note that really have no rhythm. Usually they're quick. You can think of it as like an exponent of a main note. There are many more ornaments and elements when it comes to playing music, but for our minuet, those are the primary ones. Now that we've managed to reconstruct our minuet, we can see how it all comes together to represent this beautiful piece. Today, we went over the rhythms, the notes and clefs, and we went over dynamics and other ornaments. I hope that you take this speech and consider possibly getting into an instrument. And the next time that you end up seeing sheet music, it doesn't drive you away. Because as mentioned in the beginning, it's just like reading a book. And all you need to do is simply open and turn the page to the beginning of your new chapter. Thank you.